Once again, you are welcome back to Seven Digital Marketing. Here we make programming easy for all to learn. Without wasting time, let's go to let's go from where we start from the previous one. First of all, let me explain meta chess for you, please. I've explained meta chess about this particular one. Meta name, I just include it right now because it's very, very important. Meta name equals to a description. The content is this is my best beautiful code website. Yeah, it looks very simple, but I make it simple, but it can be very uh, important too. What do you mean by meta name? Meta name is just for you to describe your site. You know, in Google, there's what we call search engine optimization. The other search engine optimization. For you to rank in Google, Google has to know what your site is all about. So here, this meta name, description, content, on that content, you can now put what your site is all about. Are you into programming? Are you into distribution selling of products? What kind of product are you selling? What do you, why do you want people to know your product? How do you want people to know your nickname? These are what you put there. It's help in marketing, okay? Just know it like this. Later on, by the time I take you through my digital course on a, a SEO and SEM, you understand better about why this is very important. But for now, know that including this is where you put this, so that Google will know what your site, or any search engine will know what your site is all about. Remember, these are robotic. But I don't do not this work, so they don't know much. They all they know is they want to go to our site, know what our site is all about, and then see how they can showcase your site to the outside world. So having said that, let's come to the meat of today's uh, learning. This is the multiple part of it. This is the body. The body is where we do all the coding. So without wasting time, let us start. I want to start my by using heading or header. That's what's called header tags in HTML. It's just like the same heading that you always see when you're writing a letter. You have your heading, your subheading, and topics, you know, topics, titles, you know. So it's the same thing with heading. But in HTML, we have this heading heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, up to heading six. Okay. So without that, how do you write heading on HTML? Let's write our first heading one. From there, I will explain further. Heading one, as usual, hold down your shift key, press your control. Hold down your shift key, press your less than sign, release your shift key, then press H1, which is heading one. H1 stands for heading one, okay? Heading one. Then close it back. You see the advantage of VS Code? It will save, it will close it for you. It will close, open and close it for you, okay? So we we'll start with heading one. Say, Dig is my first heading. And this one, first thing should be Steven website. Let's repeat the same thing Steven website. Steven website that is my first head that and this is my first head this not be that this is my first head okay now let's go to the heading two i want us to do them together with our explain heading two which will be h2 okay h2 the same process hold down your shift key press h2 press enter close it and it will close for you, okay? Then what should you put here? Let's put what we are offering. Let's say, for example, email marketing. If I'm teaching email marketing skills, you put there, email marketing tutorial. Email, <coughs> email marketing tutorial. Email marketing tutorial. Email marketing tutorial. Now that is our heading two. Let's go to heading three. Same thing, hold your shift key. I want to explain things, but let's finish right after me, okay? Don't waste time, just write what I'm writing. Heading three, close it, excuse me, heading three. Let's say web design, web design tutorial. Website design tutorial, same thing, okay? Website design tutorial. Having done that, let's go to the next one, heading four, right up to the heading six. So we will explain once and for all. Heading six, okay? Now heading four, as usual. This should be website design, email marketing, YouTube marketing. Let's say YouTube marketing, because I also teach YouTube marketing anyway. YouTube marketing tutorial, YouTube marketing tutorial, YouTube marketing tutorial. Now let's go to the next one, which is heading five. Heading five, heading five, heading five, heading five. Let's talk about content create. Let's say copywriting. Copywriting tutorial. Copy writing tutorial. 
because I'm looking to copywriting. You know, but it's not just me. We have a team who are doing all these things. So, as I told you before, we have teams who are taking these courses, and you'll be amazed. Okay, copywriting tutorial. And the last one, which is Hello Series, is Hello Series. As usual, close it down. What we're we going to put here? Let's put copywriting, email marketing. Oh, what else do you think I should put here? I should put here. So let's say mathematical formula. Yeah, I will teach you how to you can write formula with HTML. Bonus, the bonus, bonus, bonus. Yes, mathematical formula. I teach I can write, you know. Formally, when HTML was made, normally, formally, it's all about synthesis and then any other thing. Just HTML all through. So everything you do, table, everything you use HTML to do it. But thank God that website has advanced and so many coding programming have advanced as well. So you can have so many easier ways to do things, okay? So let's stop here. Remember to always put your control S for save. Control S for save, okay? To save your work. And also don't forget, let's not go and check what you just did. Go to index.html, paste your mouse there, right click, and open with live server. Mm -hmm. So do you see what, what heading is? So our first heading, heading one, very bold, right? See the second heading, not too big like the first. Straight down, see the last one, very, very small. So this just like the way you do heading, you know, normal way heading, where you have subtopic, Topics and all that, okay? So it's the same thing with heading. So heading, don't forget, is six. And with this six, you can put your heading. And normally, it's not that you're writing your headings most times. It should be with the first heading one. Maybe your software will be heading two. You know, you mix it. Sometimes you can put heading two down again. Between heading two and uh, another heading two, you can put heading three. But at the same time, it's always good to do it, pull it one after the other. So you don't just get it wrong, you know? That's why when you are writing, what else for writing? Know when to put your heading and all that. It simplifies your work. That is heading for you. So the next one I'm going to teach you is paragraph. Let's start with this heading one. So heading one, paragraph does not have any. Paragraph can be as thousands, millions, doesn't like paragraph one to six and it's stop. No. It's just paragraph. When you are writing, you have a paragraph on your page. You know, it seems all about page. You can write and all that. But I think I can don't worry, you see at one this will later become a very good website. So let's start with paragraph one. That's what I wanted to do with paragraph one. Let me teach you. For what you like paragraph one, the same process. Just put your, go down your sheet key. Press your, press that sign, press P. Close it, just close it for you. Now for this paragraph one, let's talk about given website. Why do you have this website? Let me just copy some things here because I don't want to be working too much. I have some things that I can easily copy and use. This I can type. Is this still there? Okay, it's not still there. Let me just try this. Let me just try this. Steven is a digital marketing trainer. Steven is our digital marketing trainer. Digital marketing trainer. You can write anything you want to write. Like this is just what I want to put there. So you can write anything you feel like you want to write. Okay. You on web design, on web design, mm -hmm. on email marketing, on email marketing, on email marketing, on YouTube marketing, on YouTube. Marketing on YouTube, email marketing on YouTube marketing, YouTube marketing, copywriting on copywriting, on copywriting on copywriting, email marketing copywriting, and etc. 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 So let's say this is our paragraph for paragraph one. This is what we will have there. Let's go to paragraph two. Please follow me because I want to also to do something. I'll teach you something in between here, each of them. So I, other things, other tags will come over there. Okay. So just follow me. So for email marketing, what do you say? We'll say what let's just say paragraph two. Our paragraph two now will not be what is email marketing. Get it? 
That should be our be or star bus is our P2. So I'm at two. Let's close it. What is the what is evil man? Now how can you send copy trace and how can you even send converting buffer is converting? messages let's just leave it like that we go to the next one which is uh, paragraph 3 web design well let's say let's go we'll do paragraph on web design we'll three on web design and this one so don't forget to ingest your body uh, do you see the net i'm talking about before i know i've told you this already so you'll see how they are ingesting themselves this is the beauty of Put uh, installing that prettier that we saw before. It makes your work to be look to look neat, to look prettier, to look okay when you are coding. Okay, so you can maybe flow in and the thing that arranging itself on its own. You see the beauty of those things. That is the beauty of VS Code. That's how I say you should use VS Code. Website design. Website design. Website design. Let me show you how you can build. Under web design, show you. Show you how you can build a beautiful website or a classic website. Classic website. See how you can build it. Classic website. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Let's stop there first. As usual, save your work and let's go and see what we did. Okay, control S is for save. Then bring your mouse, open your last server, then refresh. You see, everything we said is there. What is email marketing? How can you send your uh, converting bulk messages? Website design, we should, you know, just like you are writing something. So for you, you can actually prepare a very long note and all that, okay? But we are talking about website. And which website, which are where websites in. We are even, we can even talk about contact, contact us, and don't worry, we get there. Let me not just rush you. So, but are you following what I'm doing? Just follow it because we are going somewhere. Let it be a pattern like this. So you see that everything comes in under each topic, each heading, and it follows, and it flows. That is paragraph for you and that is paragraph now for when you are also writing sometimes you want to make your writing bold you want to make your paragraph italicized so how do you do that bold italicized and rest let me now teach you if you come over here let's talk about this event website even the digital marketing training we train on web design let's come we train on web design i want to make this we train the train to be bold now for you to make the train to be bold, what do you do the same your capital letter P. Just like you know, normally if I say Microsoft where you take your your mouse up and click on underline or bold or italicize and that. But for, for coding, you are telling computer to do it for you. You are commanding computer to do it. So how do you do it? Come over, press your shift key, hold down your up arrow, type B. B stands for bold, okay? Then close it. It will close it for you. And what do you now do? You need to this bold B will write when you on that you make sure that a wrap over the words or a particular if it's just one phrase or the whole words wrap it over all of them so i can wait to call it you know, if you just put it like this nothing is bold here so for you to what for you to wrap it over let's come over here this train i want train to be both so i will copy train and put it at the middle at the middle but if you are using other uh edits maybe you're not using vs code that means you may not face what i'm facing right now all you need to do is when you type b first you write your train, then you close it. You get it? That's what you do here. If you are writing it, but if you are bought in VS Code, VS Code helps to complete it for you. So it's me. I don't know. I'm not going to copy and paste. I don't know if you're understanding me. Let me repeat myself. As me, I'm not using VS Code now. As I use, as I type less than, type B, type greater than, the next thing to write will be train. So I need to go and copy that. Just write train. After writing train, I'll come and put the closing B tag, which is less than. Then my stroke, then B, and then greater than to close it. So I won't be doing copy and pasting. You understand me now? Hope you understand. If you understand, please go over it until you get me. So after this, as usual, control S. 
request and as usual check your let's say if it has reflected so you want that bold stuff to come up let me want the bold to come up once i click that's it and open with light sound the blue did you see bold here is the bold are you seeing it will train see train that will train see it become bold you need i came up i make it double so i can understand see the one that we wrote before see the one that is bolded now train so i will i will remove delete this one now so i can see this one train you see it i'm pointing so you can see it okay let me just exercise let me make bold the from we web designs up to email marketing let me make that one both so i get it better though some of you must have gotten me but in case you've not gotten me let me make it completely all like that so i can get me better i really want you to get this and this is the beginning of our lesson so you should get this will be next but i will start the advanced one you just get the train as well okay <clears throat> so let me just cut it put start from train let me put next start from mm -hmm. we train on web design from we from train to web design let it be bold let it be bold so that way you understand Maybe we now see clear that they are all we now see the bodies okay right click open with vs code open with light server you see it we we is not bold but see train on web design is bold now what about italicized want to make italicized how do you make it italicized the same method it, what we do now is use t instead of using bold use i i is for italicized sorry i so let me italicize we. I won't make it, but I just italicize we. Or okay, let's put the next line on email. Let's italicize on email marketing. From on straight to end of email marketing. Let's italicize. So as usual, hold down your shift key, press your less than key, press I, which stands for italicize, then close it. Okay. And the same problem. So just cut it and bring it to the middle, to the center. The same time between the opening and closing that's where you place your one here here you see here so you can actually type it without a like, as, as i showed you earlier on so i believe you understand this now so i won't explain this much and as usual control s for save check it let's see if it has reflected and you have believe it has reflected so you see it we train on web design is bold then on email marketing is the size see how it's slant italicized slant you can also put both italics and boldness at the same time let's do it together so it become the same time what do you do right there that you put bold if you want bold first or italicized anyone you want first or you let's start with italicized first you just hold your shift key as usual hold down it press your i which stand for italicized hold down it and cut this other closing part of it you're not supposed to cut, but we are cutting it now because of the fact that we don't want to be pasting it. Okay, let me just use the same method I used before. So let's start from board. Copy from board down to the end of board. Cut it. Cut it. I don't want to, you to get concerned. I'm doing this. Cut it. Then come to this tele size, middle of tele size, just the way we did that time too. This middle of tele size and paste. So you understand? Paste. And paste. So you're pasting it to now paste. Okay, so you see what am I trying to explain? You see it. Your first of all, you start to see what I to italicize. Your less than I, then greater uh, greater than to close it. Open that less than for bold and greater than to close the B. Then type your message, which is train on web design. Then after that, you now start closing. You start closing with B. Since B is the middle, you start closing with B. So you open your less than and your stroke and B and close. Then you now open the final one, which is the I, which is the parent. If you remember that parent is something I told you before, you open it on a small, your less than, uh, put your slash thing, put the I, and then close. You understand it? Now let's see if our work, if it has both, both bold and italicized together. Let's see, that's what we want to achieve now. So, what am I trying to do that? You can actually bold your work and also at the same time italicize your work. You see it? Train on web design, on email marketing. You train on web design is now bold and italicized. You can try to use bold and italicized. What about underline? 
Can I also use underline? Let me underline this word student. Just this word student. Let's see. If you want to use underline, you use you. You use for underline. You use for what? Underline. You use for underline. So as you are to hold down your shift key, press your U and bring down your shift key. Say underline. Then come over to seven, cut it so I can be able to. I'm only underlining only seven. Cut it. Cut it. Copy. Come over to the middle of it to paste so it to be replaced. Yes, seven. Then save as you do. Our live server to view it to see what we've done. You see that seven is what underline. Seven is what underline. I actually copy so I can see the one that was not underlined because the one we wrote before now the set point is under. So I will delete this one as I will remain only the underline. Hope it's flowing. Please, it has to flow. These are the beginning. This ones once we get this, but that will start moving further and further. Everything will just be moving slow, smoothly. Okay. So please don't think that we are wasting time or I'm talking too much. No. Just practice along. If you are if you learn it faster than me, than others, better wait for them. So all of us we carry everybody along. Okay. Please don't don't rush. We are on it. We get we get them. We get them, okay? So are you get what I'm saying? As usual, save it, save your work, and come over to live server and see how what we've done. You say I've deleted the other one, so this is the seven. Okay. So what have I taught you now? I've told you I can use underline, I can use bold, I can use italicize. These are things how you can command computer to do it for you, okay? Now let's go to the next one. Let's explain layout. We want to explain layout now. You notice something that we did. See how beautiful the layout is. If you check very well, be watching my mouse. I'll use my mouse to explain to you. When we say seven, the first paragraph, seven. After the first paragraph, what did we do? We bring it down and write train on website design. This is you know it's very, very okay. Yeah, the layout here is very, very okay. Now there's something about HTML, it doesn't even respect. For example, normally it's supposed to be after paragraph one, then paragraph two, then paragraph three. Now let me do something. You see what's what happening. Now let's copy this paragraph two and put it on top of paragraph one. Put it before paragraph one. Let's see if we really remember that no, this should be par it should be paragraph one before paragraph two now. Can computer think? Let's see. Let's see together. We may after the body, may after the body, paste it. Now, paragraph two is above paragraph one, or even above our first heading. Now, save and let's see what will happen. Let's now see what will happen. So, I, I want to use to teach you about layout and HTML. You know, this will happen. What is email marketing? And how can you send converting book messages? Does it rhyme again? No, because here yeah, it's supposed to start with seven data marketing training first. And uh, what we train for before you now start with, we start with number one of our training, which is email marketing. We find out that we merely computer is garbage in garbage out. We took paragraph two to one above all of them and it went above. See how it went there. So that is computer for that's the layout for you. Then you notice something again. Let me bring it back so that everything will run well before I will explain the next one. Remember, we're talking about layout now. Now I want to go into a uh, paragraphing and the rest of them and space and all that. But let me bring this one back so our work will look okay. So that somebody else who come to check our work will not see what it's supposed to be. Okay, so let's go it back to back where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be this is paragraph two in the marketing. It's supposed to be okay. So let's paste it back. Uh, let's paste it back first and then remove our else for safe. Let me make sure that it's back, please. Let's make sure that our work is neat now, please. Okay. See my marketing, yes, email marketing, what is email marketing? Okay, everything now flow back again. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking about space. You notice that here there is no space here. See, seven is a digital marketing training. Come on. We train on web design, on email marketing, on YouTube marketing, on copywriting. But you see the way you put it there. Now come to what I wrote. Was that actually the way I wrote it? Now, what did I do here? I first start with seven website, seven website. This is my first heading. And I come down and say seven. Is a digital marketing training. After that, I, I actually press enter to go to the next paragraph, right? The next line, right? I'm saying we train on web design. I press on that enter go to the next line again. We train on email marketing. You know, here you see how the thing was well composed, one after the other. But now 
where computer want to lay it out for us? How did he lay it out? Eh? Do you see how he laid it out for us? You find out that there is nothing like space, nothing like no space, not everything is just brrr, straight line. That is HTML for you. Organization doesn't have to organize. You are the one that will organize yourself, put space and all that. So if you have to put space, and look at this thing go one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. How do you do it? What will help you? Since computer doesn't understand, even if, for example, if I come over here and put the whole space here, after uh, we train on web design, let me put the whole space before we go to on email marketing on this thing. Let's put the whole space. As many as you can. See all the space. Now let's save and see that that space will reflect. And let's now come over here, right click. Open it last server. Did you reflect anything? Mm -hmm. No single space. See, show like that. Brrr. Yes. So, what do we do to make sure that we achieve this particular space? I'm going to show you what we need to do. Okay. So, as if you are writing, if you're coding, your code will be. Question now is how do we put a space on our work so that you look very tidy, very neat, very clean? There's what we call BR. BR is breaking tag. With this breaking tag, you can put a space on your work as you look very tidy. Let come with me, let us move on and put it. To do that, let's start with Steven Mail after Steven press enter. Press your enter key. As usual, your shift and less than the type BR. Close it and BR. Okay, let's move before I will talk. BR, close it. Do you notice something? The moment you are close BR, nothing to like closing tag. So BR is what we call a self closing tag. BR is what self closing tag. You can try to put your uh, 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 your stroke here if you want to, but normally self closing, so you need to put it down. It's self closing, okay. Self closing tag are those tags that can stand on their own. They stand only one hand without the, your second leg. For example, look at when we do I. I has you open, close, come over here, it has its own opening, slash, closing. But for BR, do you see anything like that? No, it's just self opening and closing tag. So let me put all the BR first before we continue. Okay, let's just save uh, this work and see what will happen. Save, click on save, control S. Let's go back to our. Let's go back that time. Let's go back to our live server. Click on live server, and you see that BR has applied. Do you see a space now, in between seven website and here? You see a very long space, unlike these places. You see it. So we want to put space in all these are right up so we understand it better that BR is used for space. Okay. Now let's continue. Since it's working, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. No time. Now I want to put BR on all our space. I don't know what you type. Whatever you type, use BR to space it right now. As I'm spacing my own, spacing yours, so I can get to what we want. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's continue. 
still. Just let me just copy side to be easy. When we'll be wasting time over this. Not the places that we need to go. Reviews for paste. I'm not doing something different. Okay, you to be pasting it. You want to make sure that there is space in all our work. So I want to achieve right now. Okay, all our work there should be space. All our work should be space. Now we have we have two more to go. We're almost there. 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 Just this is it. So save it. Let's go and see what we did. Okay, as as usual. Then go to our live server and see what we've done so far. So you see the space? We've been able to put all the space. So now our work now take a very good shape. We train our web design on email marketing, on YouTube marketing, on copywriting. Then email marketing tutorial. What is email marketing and how can you send converting bulk message? Completely. What is main market? How can you you see it? So inside there's a space between. If somebody can read our work and understand what we are, even though it's not really making real sense, at least it can make a whole lot of sense now. With the help of what VR. So what are you trying to take home from this? That VR is used to paste your write up every time you are giving instruction to HTML. So VR is used to space it out. Okay. Now there's another one that's called HR. HR is used for underlining. So it's horizontal line. That is, we want to underline. For example, let me just let's use one example of HR on this seven. Let's just put HR on seven. HR on seven. Right. So you see what I'm talking about. HR, the same method. Hold down your shift key. Then you press your HR. Then do you notice that HR2 is self closing? HR2 is self closing. So self closing are those tags that can stand. They are special tag. They stand on their own. They don't need Closing tag and open tag as we are doing before. Hope you are getting what we are doing now. Contrast for save. Then let's see our work and see if the HR is there. So simply go to a live server and let's see what is happening. HR, yes, it's there. But let me let me do it way that you understand. Let's bring it down to seven. So let's just underline seven. That way you understand that it's there. Because some may not see it, but it's there already. Let's underline seven and so you can see it and see it well. Okay. HR. Put down your shift key, press your HR, and then you press your shift key again. And then as usual, Ctrl Make sure that you do it on live server. Yeah, do you see it now? So this is the line before, but I know you know many people don't understand it. Oh, now, my that's why I have to bring it down and put it here. See it? So you used to straight horizontal line with your space, with more space. You get it? Mm -hmm. We've learned something today. We've learned how we can put a space on our HTML code. Now let's continue. Let's continue. There's what we can also make these things big. Just by the way, you use both to make it big. You can also use B to make it big. Just big. Complete panel of big to make it big. For example, I want to make this a uh, seven digital marketing training. I want this one to be big. So for me to make it big, I will let me start the bigness from here. Seven is a Let's start from seven is a so we put your mouse, see where your mouse is now. What do I do as usual? Press your small key, type big, big. Then close the tag. You see the hook, the closing tag that didn't come over with BR. So as usual, come over here, copy it, copy it, put that digital marketing training, copy it completely. I want it, I want to make this right up to be big. So let's cut this side. Don't be rewriting and writing this. I'm just gonna since you are following up, I know you understand what I'm doing. So it will be as usual for paste. Address. Then let's check our work. Let's check our work. Open with live server. Mm -hmm. You see it? Seven is a digital marketing training. We train on web design. You see how big it is now? It's become bigger than the way it is before. Now let me make this is smaller or let me make you this marketing let me make the marketing smaller so maybe that we understand that 
this one is bigger because sometimes it seems that it's not big now make it smaller but if you know that from cbn down to the end of training is big and i want to use to introduce to small if you want it to be small just the way you type big this one i want to type small you start with cbn to the time okay let's start from digital from digital let's make this a small let me this one small big this one let's make it small make it small so the same process type small close it it's a, it's open as closing type with this then <clears throat> we're only doing data so just copy cut the digital and bring it to that place cut the digital go to the middle and then this is as as usual they come over take you to the live server to see what's going on hmm. <coughs> digital you see how data becomes smaller the every other thing is big every other thing though this is now small actually i can actually make something big now you know using big small now let's go to mathematical formula let me teach you superscript and subscript superscript and subscript now for example if you want to write h2o you know h2o formula for water you want to write it now how do you do it what process will you use let's come down there's what we call superscript and subscript. Now let's start with subscript first. We'll go to superscript. So as usual, the same another paragraph, same another paragraph. Then create your paragraph, which is your key, close it, and then at the middle, write page two. So what do you want to be small? Want these two to be small? So I be uh, exactly the formula. So to do that, let's start with our subscript. So open your open your under your shift key, press less than as usual, write your subscript, then hold down your shift key, close it. Remember, you should close that by itself. So we're now bringing two, only two is what we are looking at. Bringing two, cut the two from there, put it in the middle, in the middle of this place, make it two. So now let's see what will happen. Okay, two. Let's see what will happen as usual. Press for save. Open with live server. Open with live server. Open with live server. <coughs> Did you notice something? This is our H2O. This is formula for water. H2O. Do you notice it? I should write it up so I can see this thing up. This is our H2O. Do you notice it? Yeah, mathematical formula H2O. So you can actually use HTML to write down some formula. Okay. Now let's write another one. Let me write it up so you'll be seeing it. Suppose to let me just copy this page this mathematical formula up so you'll be seeing it. Seeing it because some of you uh, might not see it. But I want everybody to see it because we are learning. Everybody to see it. So let me put it mail after this seven stuff after the HR in between B R and HR. Let's put it there. Okay. So let's put put that there. So I want to teach you now on superscript. The one we is subscript, which is a right formula for it too. So now, for example, you are they say you should type log 10 raised to power 2 or else 10 raised to power 2, or just 10 raised to power 2. Just 10 raised to power 2. How do you write that uh, using HTML language? I can come type it or write it too. What do you need to tell computer to do? So I computer can write something like this for you. So as usual, your paragraph as well. Bring down paragraph, paragraph, then close it. And write 10 raised to power 2, which is 102. Now, for these two, what I'm going to do is sub superscript. Okay, so uh, formula for superscript just SUP. SUP, you know, as usual, hold down your shift key, press less than or greater, or lower than, press subscript, sub, subscript, you know, subscript. Then bring in the zero. Then also part to bring in the two. Then one or two. Bring in the two there. So just call the two. Let me let me take the two here. Write the two here. Write the two here. Write it down. So I should repeat in what is there already. Write it down. So write it down. So I need to let me bring the two. Okay, that is for it too. Okay, okay, sorry. Now, this is what we are writing now. Okay, save as usual. Save it. Then come over. Let's do it to our live server and see how it goes. Okay, yeah, this is it. 
then it's supposed to be super. We are used to it again. Sorry, you see, you see what that's why I also have to be careful. I say before that HMA is a set of nobody, you can't they can't think it's what you told him to do that he's doing. We are using soft space or super space, that's why I bring it that's of picking it up. So, to, so you see, to see the error, how do you correct it? So, I have to go back there, check after what you want. But what you want, what you want to actually to take it up, not to bring it down. That is super strip. Uh, super strip is SUP, not SUB. SUB is sub. Why SUP is super? Super strip. Are you getting what you are discussing? Hope you are getting it. Please, you must get it. Once you get it wrong, you show you wrong. That's why I call it garbage in, garbage out. Now that we've got it right, you see that everything too will also be right. So, Yes, as usual, you come over here and uh, check it on your live server, and you see it 10 raised to power 2. Okay, so there are so many tags to use, so many, so many, so many, but these are some of the most important ones. And this is not just the end, we are typing, I'm explaining. So if we go over to so many others, as we have to progress this, till we get to where we now create our website completely. So please. Don't run, don't just rush out. Keep on following my channel one after the other. Take them first after the other until you get to the last stage where you now know everything about the to HTML. After that, take it advanced HTML. In advanced HTML, you will now see we are going to create a YouTube, a complete YouTube website. It's an assignment all of us will do together, and you are going to know that yes, I'm now a guru in HTML. You know that HTML is the building block of a website, as I said before. This is, this is something that can give you money. So they can even bring you out your fundamentals, teach, teach you how to code. So please don't play with it. Move on with me as we go on. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye bye.